Artist Yeyo Kusama is obsessed with dots. Polka dots, she said, are a way to infinity. Kusama was born in Japan, but was part of the avant-garde art movement of the 1960s in New York. The dots reflect visions that she's had since she was a child, images of a world that is covered and eventually obliterated by dots. Through her art, she expresses her sense that she, and all human beings, are one of the dots among millions of dots in the universe. Dots are fun. Dots are fast, dots are universal. Anyone can start with a dot, diverge to a pattern, and end with a painting. Today we're going to look at many ways to make a dot and use them to make many assemblage sculptures. We call this project Dot Dot Dimension. We'll begin with the surface. A small canvas panel is perfect, a mini one even better, but you could also use chipboard, tiles, wood blocks, foam board. This is the only square thing that is allowed. Or you could use a rounded surface, such as this uh, wood panel shape or a shaped canvas. On a smaller surface, a circle template sheet is a really good way to start out. You can uh, make many different sizes of dots using this. On a larger one, you might want to use a compass. Now don't be afraid to overlap them, let them run off the side of the panel, or create rings by making dots inside of dots. So after I've drawn out a few dots on the surface, I can paint the panel and fill in those dots like this. Now let's move on to some smaller dots and different ways to make them. This is a detailer bottle, a squeeze bottle with a long tip like this. I filled it with acrylic paint. So it's super easy to just squeeze and dot, like so. Or I could use paint daubers, which is a bottle of paint or ink with a built-in sponge tip. Very easy to make a dot with this. What else could we use? Hmm, we could use a cotton swab dipped in some paint, like that. Or we could use a pencil eraser that makes just a little bit different size dot. We could use circles cut out of colored paper with a circle punch. Look at that. Easy way to make dots. Lots of ideas, but dots are not necessarily flat. They could be rounded or spherical. They can rise above the surface too. Wood shapes are pretty flat, but they do raise things up a little bit. Buttons. Uh, perhaps a recycled uh, material, such as a, a cap, something repurposed. Beads and spools add quite a bit more height. Dots created within dots, on top of dots, it's hard to stop. Now I prefer to have a color scheme of two to three colors plus black and white because that creates harmony within the piece. If you'd like, these small sculptures could also become jewelry pieces. Now to create these assemblages, it's best to have a strong craft glue, wood glue, or a glue gun. I'm really beginning to understand Yeyo Kusama's fascination with dots. How about you? All of these dot making materials are available at dickblick.com, where you will also find a free PDF version of this lesson plan with more information, images, and national standards for visual arts education.